Hello everybody and welcome back to another video today and today guys we're going to be doing a Roblox horror game trial list. Now I've basically seen a lot of trial lists on YouTube on Roblox and most of them are just you know games that everybody plays now like popular games and stuff and I've seen some of YouTubers and stuff but I've never seen one on horror games so that's why I decided to make this video to basically rate 28 horror games that I have listed right now. Yes, I got 28 horror games. So this is going to be a very long video and it's going to be me just rating a good amount of the horror games and there's going to be probably about 40 to 50% of horror games on this list that you might know about and the rest of them you probably won't. So this is a good video to basically uh look at and play all the horror games because all the horror games that are featured in this video will be in the link in the description so that means all the 28 horror games are all going to be in the link in the description so please play all of them support the creator and let's get right into this video because my god this is going to be a long video of me going through 28 horror games god this is going to be really fun so let's go ahead and get started Alright, the very first one to start off with is The Maze. So basically, The Maze is a very interesting horror game. Basically, you uh, are at spawn, you basically can collect a camera and a flashlight, and you can go down this hole, you're in the maze, and basically there's two creatures in there that will basically try to kill you. You can use rocks and to dig tunnels through, find some items like phones and all that good stuff this game is really good for the most part but the one thing that kind of bugs me in this game is it does tend to get boring um basically i don't think there's an ending to this game so you're basically just you're you're there just basically survive and um yeah there's not really much to it but it's still a fun multiplayer horror game to play with friends and stuff because you could dig tunnels hide from monsters and stuff and you know it's a really good horror game in my opinion so i will put this at a b because it's a good average horror game which uh just to let people know uh e is for basically broken horror games and also garbage horror games this is for bad horror games this is for good uh a little bit of good horror games this is for great uh good average horror games uh, fantastic great horror games and the best horror games out there so just to let people know so yeah this is a good average uh, horror game and yeah I think you should go and play this all right next game up is red 44 and Seder 44 the one that is really hard to say the name now um, I actually had to play this game to check if it's broken and for the looks of it it doesn't look like it's broken it's still been functioning so you could still play it so basically um, the game is you're in the maze and you have a timer and you basically have to go through the maze uh, without the timer going down. If the timer goes down, you have to go hide in the locker before the creature comes and kills you. There's another one where if you stare at him, then he basically chase after you. It's a really interesting horror game, but same problem with this one. I'm pretty sure after you go through it a few times, it kind of tends to get boring possibly. I don't know. It's just me. I don't really enjoy like not much... Uh, I don't really enjoy going through mazes that much, in my personal opinion. So, I say it's a good average uh, horror game for the most part. So, that's why I pretty much will say it's still a good horror game and I recommend you should play it. Um, it's kind of scary in a little bit. Alright, and the next one up is Siren Head. Now, don't get it confused with that one Siren Head game that's made by basically a free mauler. Basically, he stole uh, the Siren Head model and he also put a bunch of free models in that game. So don't get it confused with that one. This is actually the original Siren Head game. So basically, the game is simple. You're in a small map and basically Siren Head's in it. And if he finds you, if he kills you, uh, you basically get kicked out of the game. So it's a short, simple horror game. And, you know, it's not like a great horror game. It's a... I, I will put it in a C category because it's not a good horror game in my personal opinion, but it's still pretty cool though. 
Um, and it's also made by the original creator, not that free mall one. Uh, that free mall one would have been a D or an E because I don't really like free mall games that much. So, but basically, yeah, please play this one uh, instead of that one and support the original creator because this is actually the original Siren Head game. Next up is True Back Rooms. Uh, I hope I said the name correctly. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, basically, uh, it's another maze game, and yes, there's going to be a lot of maze games in this one. Uh, it's another maze game where basically you're going through the maze, and there's three mazes in total. And while you're in there, uh, there's basically uh, there's a black entity in there that will basically try to kill you. It's a multiplayer horror game until you get to the third maze, and the third maze you're on your own. It's really creepy and scary. Um, I'll put it in the B category because it's a good average horror game. It's not like crazy good or anything it's pretty decent for the most part so basically yeah you could play this with friends and stuff but after the third maze then you're basically on your own so it's pretty terrifying i think it's really cool in the most part um so yeah if you want to play it um i recommend it it's a pretty good horror game in the most part so next up is light bulb remake now in my personal opinion this is probably one of the best remake horror games ever if not if this is the only remake out there i don't know i think there's a uh, other horror games i've done remake let me check I, it, I think before yeah before the dawn made a remake so never mind the, but this is probably the best remake out there and in my personal opinion, this is probably one of the best uh, remakes out there. So basically, Light Bulb is a, is a game where you're in the maze. Once again, I know there's a lot of maze games. And basically, uh, you have to answer the phone to this guy who is basically trying to help you try to escape. You have to avoid the darkness of all times. You have to stay in the light. And basically, you have to solve puzzles to basically get out. It's a really terrifying, scary game, and um, I recommend fully to play this game. I will put this in the A category because it's a great horror game. Um, I think it's really amazing, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would definitely enjoy it in the most part. So please give this game a try. It's just amazing. All right, the next one is Roses. In my personal opinion, Roses is the most detailed, gorgeous horror game you will ever play in history. This game not only has fantastic cutscenes, it also has a good story behind it too. And it's a little bit scary, but in the most part, I think it's one of the best looking horror games out there. I have never seen a horror game to look this good. So I will put this in the S category just because it's one of the best looking horror games you will ever play. It's still a single player horror game, but you would love it. It's so detailed, so great. And basically what you're doing is you're looking for a friend in this uh, asylum. And basically, uh, like I don't remember fully on it because I haven't played it in a long time, but you're looking for a guy uh, that's your friend. and He basically got lost in asylum and stuff. But it's really good. I recommend giving it a try. It's such a good horror game. Probably one of the best looking horror games you would probably have ever find. So, yeah. Next up is Slender Amended. Slender Amended is another horror game where basically uh, you have different choices of different maps you can go to. You can go either the farm or the forest. And you can either go collect eight pages, play survival, or basically go to relaxation. It's an all right, decent, good horror game. In my personal opinion, I would put it in the B category because it's a decent horror game. Um, basically, uh, it tends to get boring in the game um, after playing the eight pages and also collecting the six jerry cans and stuff. Um, it, after that, it actually kind of gets boring. So I. You know, it's a, it's just my personal opinion, but through and all, it's still a worth a shot. So if you've never played it, um, give it a shot. It's actually really good. Next up is Ascensity. I think I said that correctly. This game, uh, this horror game is a disappointment to me. Um, I've heard from a little bit of people that this was the scariest horror game they played. But when I played it, it was a pretty big disappointment. Did not get jump scared at all throughout this whole entire game. Not only that, 
The only thing that scared me was an entity, and he wasn't even doing anything but walking around. It was actually SCP-049. I don't know why he's even in the game in the first place. But he legit didn't even do much, but popped out of nowhere a few times and kind of freaked me out a little bit. But third and all, what a disappointing horror game. I will put it at the C category because it was a disappointing horror game. It's still a good looking horror game. It still looks great, but it's just, it's not scary at all. It's, you know, I just don't really enjoy it. I didn't even enjoy it while I made the video. So it, it will be at the C category. All right, so the next one is Before the Dawn Redux. In my personal opinion, it is by far one of the best multiplayer horror games out there. Basically, there's so much to do in there. You can uh, purchase a lot of different characters, purchase a lot of different items. You can earn a lot of different items. It's just overall a really great multiplayer horror game. Basically, I think this is probably the best horror game out there just because there's so much you can do in it compared to like games like The Rake and also uh, Stop It Slender. This game has so much you can do in it, uh, so much different things you can unlock and purchase and there's so many different maps, so many different things you can just mess around with. It is by far one of the best multiplayer horror games so I will put it in the A category just because it's one of the best out there there so speaking of which let's talk about stop it slender and the rake so let's get stop it slender in here so stop it slender um in my opinion uh kind of went a little bit downhill for me and the reason why is because the game is now like pay to win a little bit and not only that the cosmetics and the skins that you can basically get in that game all cost robux i don't know why uh, back then it actually did not cost robux at all you just need like I don't know how many pages back then but you needed pages and you spend your pages and you can get a random cosmetic but now for some reason it costs robux and I don't understand why in my opinion it, the pay to win and the buying of cosmetics kind of ruined this game a little bit in my personal opinion but I will put it at the B category because it's an all right good average game so it, you could still play it and have fun with a bunch of friends. I just don't like how it's a little bit pay to win and it's uh, basically you just you can't buy cosmetics as you used to. So next up is the rake. The rake is um, better in my opinion than stop it slender by just a little bit. Uh, the one problem about this game is that it tends to get boring after a while. So I just you know I. You know, I just don't really like getting bored in games. I only played like I think two to three rounds and then I got really bored of this game. Because there's not really much to do other than, uh, you know, turn the power on, survive, and, you know, go to that shopkeeper, buy a bunch of different items. And, you know, it's just, you know, there's not really much to do in it. So that's the reason why I'm just going to put it at the B category because there's not really much to do in it because it tends to get boring. So I'll put it in there. So the next one is body now for some reason body is a game where you basically you just look for a corpse i don't know why but it's basically what you're doing in the game so basically you're in a hospital and you're collecting keys and items and you're basically looking for a corpse which like i said again i don't know why but you are so i will put this at the c category because even though it gave me a really good jump scare it's still just a game with you know just jump scares and stuff not really much there in my opinion it's just a game with jump scares and that's basically about it collecting items and just going through the game and that's basically it there's no entities or anything chasing you nothing really exciting just jump scares jump scares and jump scares so it will go to the c category because it's a it's a good horror game but it could need some work into it so basically yeah next up is do not look up the game or I could say the only horror game that pissed me off the worst. This will definitely go to the C category. It's a good horror game, but it pissed me off. Uh, basically, the horror game um, is basically based off SCP. Um, there's a lot to explain in it. Uh, you're basically driving a car, you get kidnapped by the SCP Foundation, and Basically, you have to make different choices to try to escape and choose which side you want to go on and blah, 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 blah. This game pissed me off for one reason only, and that is 
if you make a stupid decision, you have to restart all over again every single time. I do not like that. And some of these horror games are like that and I hate it so much. But this one in my opinion is the worst because I just hate how you have to go through every stupid decision and if you get it wrong you have to start over again to make a better one which I just don't like. Can you not just put me where I have to make that decision instead of going all the way back doing a lot of stupid shit just to get to that decision making right there like you get what I mean like it's just not my favorite so it will go to the C category all right and the next one is the mirror the mirror is a very short horror game where basically you stare at the mirror and things happen while you're staring at it things will start to pop up the room starts to change and overall it's a really good horror game at the most part the only problem I have about it is it's very very short of a horror game like legit after you look through the mirror and, th and after that one time you've done it then it's basically the same thing over and over again so i will put it the c category it's a good horror game in the most part and basically um i think it's uh, a good horror game in the most part i just you know it's basically the same thing over and over again so it's just a one-time play i could i, I could say one one time game through or game uh, or gameplay, you get what I mean. So the next one is Silent Dark. So if you guys don't remember what I said in the beginning of the video, there is one game that is broken currently and it's gonna be going to the E category and that is Silent Dark. Silent Dark sadly is broken. It's no longer playable, but if it wasn't broken, it would either go to the B or the A category because it's a really great horror game. But sadly, the game is broken, so you can't no longer play it, so that really sucks. Alright, the next one up is Identity Fraud. Probably one of my top five favorite horror games is Identity Fraud. It's because basically this game is just incredible. So you are in a maze, yes, another maze game. And there is three mazes in total, and there's like so many different creatures in this game that are in there to kill you. There's like, I think, total of five of them, and they are terrifying as hell. And this game is a multiplayer horror game. You could travel through the whole game with a bunch of friends. It is just a fantastic horror game. I so recommend playing it. You would definitely love this game a lot even though it's really like you know a long horror game and not only that if you die you have to restart all over again like this game right here but it's it's worth it in my opinion I, you would love it it's worth going through the whole game not this game this game kind of pissed me off and it wasn't real, really worth it but this game right here is just fantastic you will love it and i totally recommend it next up is the haunted staircase this game is a really great horror game basically it's based off of SCP-087 the stairwell and this is probably the best stairwell game you'll ever play uh, it has a fantastic intro sequence voice acting and basically uh, you're going down the stairway and you have to uh, basically um, go keep going until uh, you meet the face and basically you have to look away and continue trying to go down as far as, far as you can Basically, yes, this game is beatable. I've already know about that. It's beatable, and not only that, um, basically, uh, the creator removed where if you die, you get kicked out of the game, so he removed that, so now this game is even better than before, so I will put this in the B category because this is a really good horror game. Um, it's not perfect, but it's a really great horror game, so I recommend playing this one. Next one is Alone in a Dark House. Alone in the Dark House has a lot of story down to it. It's a good horror game with good jump scares. Uh, has a bunch of different puzzles to solve. And basically, it's, a, it's an overall good horror game with good story. Um, the only problem I have about it is not only, you know, it's basically the same thing over and over after you do it one time. It's basically the same thing. Nothing really changes. Another problem I have about it is that uh, to access more story to this game, you actually have to buy uh, or pay Robux for that, which I do not like that one bit. I really don't. But it's overall a good horror game. It's a multiplayer horror game. 
Uh, I think the max you could play was like eight people in this game. So that is really great. You can have all the gameplay, uh, help each other out, try to solve puzzles, and get jump scared. It's a really fun horror game, and you would definitely like it. Next up up is Lurks. It Lurks is just it is such a terrifying game in my personal opinion. It's because it hits two of my biggest fears and that is Home Alone and Windows. I hate Windows and I hate being Home Alone uh, with crazy hell going on like this. It is one of the coolest and scariest games that I've ever played. This is just a terrifying horror game that you would definitely like. It's really creepy horrifying i'm gonna put this in the a category it's a great horror game you would definitely like it and i definitely recommend supporting the creator because i think he is making a sequel to this game so i'm definitely going to look forward to playing that so please support the creator please uh and try to beat this game i think there's only four chapters i don't think he's going to release chapter five so support the game and give this game a lot of love it's it's great all right next up is the library the library is a very weird game it's uh basically where um you're in a library you're trying to solve puzzles to basically escape and overall it's a really weird horror game uh, especially when you pass the first level it actually becomes very weird especially with those freaking creepy ass eyeballs it's a really good horror game uh, it's very disturbing as well uh, when you're playing through it it's really creepy disturbing and I think you would definitely like the game um, it did kind of make me a little bit mad because I kept dying a couple of times, but through and all, uh, when you beat the whole game though, it has a surprisingly good and uh, somewhat of a good ending. <laughs> so, uh, it's a good horror game, uh, I would put it in the B category, it's a good average horror game, and you would definitely enjoy it. And by the way, it's multiplayer horror game. Next up is Happy Oof Day. Happy Oof Day is a weird type of game. Uh, basically, it's a one player horror game and you have to make a bunch of different decisions and uh, to keep the Oof creature from killing you uh, or he will kill you if you make a wrong decision. It's a weird, uh, it's probably one of the weirdest games I've played yet and I will put it in the C category because it's very, very weird. Uh, but it's still a good horror game. Um, it's somewhat, um, you know, a pretty good horror game. I think you definitely will enjoy it um, if you play through it. Uh, the only problem I have about this game is that, you know, if you die, you have to restart all over again. As most of these horror games are, if you die, you have to restart all over again. In which, I really don't like it. I don't like that type of play style. I prefer getting to the point where I was, but through and all, um, yeah, it's still an alright horror game. Next up is Piggy. Now, Piggy got some pretty good popularity going on for it, but sadly, I do not really care for this game that much. I'm going to put it at the C category. I don't really care too much about it. It's basically a copy of the Granny game. I don't really care too much about it. I don't really, I don't, you know, I just don't have a heart to it. I just don't really care too much about it. Like, you know, it, it's just a copy of the Granny game. It does have some story to it, and it is a multiplayer horror game, but through and all, I just don't really care too much about it. You know, I still play it a little bit of it, but I just don't really care too much about it. I don't really consider it a great or good horror game. I consider it an alright horror game, but through and all, I don't really care too much about it, so it'll be in the C category. Next up is The Realm of the Nine Portals, probably one of the best multiplayer horror games you will ever find this game right here not only this game is pretty terrifying it's one of the best in my opinion when it comes to multiplayer horror games this game is so good uh there's so far three portals that you can go through in that game and basically you have to it, it like i said when you get into it it will shock you there's three portals you can go through uh all three of them being different like the maps in there are so different and like the maps are different there's different things in there and it's just it's great you will actually love it and you can play with friends in there and explore with friends the only problem about this horror game once again is that if you die you have to restart all over again which that sucks especially when you get really far into one of the uh, portals like in one of the maps 
and if you die you have to restart because the maps in this game are really long so you know if you do not like dying and restarting all over again then this game right here probably not it's not going to be your favorite but it's my favorite because it's just a great horror game i love it probably one of the best multiplayer horror games out there so far next up is dead silence and dead silence is another great multiplayer horror game i will definitely put this in the a category because it's a good horror game basically um i don't really know the story behind this game uh basically you're looking through you're looking for somebody in this game uh basically uh, there's jump scares that are pretty terrifying uh, this game has some horrifying terrifying moments it is a multiplayer horror game you can play with two players um, so you can play with a buddy and go through this game and go through jump scares and stuff so it's a really good horror game in the most part I think it's really great at the most part so I recommend giving this game a, a try next up is school history uh, school history will go with the B category uh, basically uh, it does have the same problem as body where it's just constant jump scares but this one in my opinion is better because it not only has really great jump scares but it also has a great atmosphere because it's very dark and it's creepy there's no music and the jump scares happen at a really bad timing like it happens bad timing and it really scares the hell out of you like this game not only it's really terrifying but it gave me one of the biggest jump scares out of all the horror games so basically this game is definitely worth giving a shot it's a one player horror game by the way and so forth it's a it's a good horror game next up is sequel sequel is another uh game basically based off scp and this game is really good i actually love the story behind it basically uh you're this kid that's basically you know waking up every night to get some water um because he gets thirsty most of the time i don't know why but basically he gets up gets water every time and every time he wakes up uh, basically uh, things change his uh, the house changes and these demon things pretty much come out and try to kill him and it's a really good horror game you would definitely like it, it has some secrets in it it has uh, a lot to offer um, I'm pretty sure the game uh, the creator of this game is making a sequel or a prequel to this game so I'm definitely looking forward to playing that so it's another single-player horror game so yeah definitely check it out next up is the apartment the apartment is a very short horror game uh it will go to the c category for being uh, just an all right horror game basically it has some bugs in it uh it's a multiplayer horror game and basically it's a somewhat of an all right game uh the jumps this game is basically just a jump scary game uh there's really not much in it other than you know being a little bit buggy but it, it's still worth a try, you know, all these games are worth a try despite, you know, having some problems with it. Uh, so, you know, this game is still worth a shot. You can play with a buddy and it's a good, it's a good horror game. So I give it a shot. And finally, we're at the final horror game and that is Welcome. Welcome will go to the B category. Uh, it's a good average horror game. It's a short horror game that has a lot of potential. It has uh, basically a lot of different endings and stuff that you can go through in that game. There's a lot of different stuff you can do in there. A lot of secrets that you can find in that game. And the game is very interesting uh, in the most part because basically there's a lot of things you could discover in that game. Um, and overall, it's a really great, interesting horror game. I recommend giving it a shot, giving it a try. It's another one-player horror game. So please give that one a try. It's pretty great. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it. That is the horror game trial list. Now, I want to apologize if I did not give a good description on some of the horror games on this list. That's because most of the time I actually want you guys to actually play them instead of just telling you everything about the horror game. Because in my opinion, it kind of ruins it if I actually just went ahead and told you everything about it. I recommend just going in and playing it yourself because I feel like it's a better experience if you play it yourself. So basically that is it. Um, so uh, this, by the way, this whole entire trial list is my opinion, 
just to let you all know it's just my opinion so um, you know if you think this game's the best or if you think this game's the best then you know it's your opinion you know um, everybody is titled to their own opinion so yeah um, basically uh, what do you guys think of the trial list uh, tell me in the comments below if you agree with it and if you uh, want to make changes basically what what would you change it like would you add the maze as the best one or would you add before the dawn is the best one like what what changes would you put to it or if you disagree like tell me why you disagree with it like provide some a little bit of reasons why you disagree with the trial list that i made but other than that yeah that's pretty much it so um in the description below I will put uh, two categories in there, single player and multiplayer. And basically all the single player games are gonna go in the single player category and then all the multiplayer are gonna go in the multiplayer category. Just so people won't get confused and be like, oh, which one's the single player? Which one's the multiplayer? It's all in the description below. So you guys can go and play it. Uh, the only game that will not be in the description is Silent Dark, cause obviously this game is sadly broken. But other than that, yeah, that's basically it. That is the horror game trial list, the very first of its kind. And I'm glad to be the first one to actually do it. So yeah, this is what I think of all the horror games. This is how I rate them all and how I did it. So yeah, so through and all, thank you guys so much for watching. Please support this video and give it a like because this video took me forever to make, especially, um, I have to go through all 28 of these horror games and record at least some footage of it so you basically can get um, an idea of what the game is basically about. So please give this uh, this video some love because you know it took me a long time to get this video made and it's going to take me forever to edit and do all this. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Mr. Dark Jim and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.